day and a new chance. And my mom's Bible study last week was about what you're going to do mm. with this new 24, mm. the new 24 hours. What, what are you going mm. to do? Are you are you living in your purpose? Are you living like, you know, <coughs> just, wow, connection. Good. Okay, Good. sorry. Good. <coughs> Good. Thanks for that. We're, we're all set, Reverend? Would you like a glass of water? Maybe? No, I'm fine. Thank you. All right, so. Um, Let's break your rehearsal. Next. Should I do, 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 I, intro did I do an intro? Okay. Yeah, we'll intro so, Reverend Herman Pollard, um, co-pastor at In His Presence Ministries mm -hmm. uh, here in New London, Connecticut, mm -hmm. and member of the African American Health Council of Southeastern Connecticut yes. from the very beginning. Yes. Thank you so much. Yes. Yes. Um, and also a heart attack survivor, so I really appreciate you coming today to kind of discuss your story and your survival and mm. um, advice for other people in the community. I really appreciate that. Mm -hmm. So prior to your heart attack, were you receiving regular physicals and yes. checkups? I, I, I you know, like, like I said, my son graduated in 85 from UConn, and I said, I want to be around to see him graduate. Uh, he's got the UConn degree, but I said, you, if you're going to be a lawyer, I want to be around. And for me to be around, I have to take care of myself physically. Right. And God saw fit for him to graduate from Yale, uh, magna cum laude, and I was at his graduation. And I dare say I would not have been there if I didn't. And it's not it's not because I thought so highly of myself that I want to look just right. And be, no, it's not about me. It's about it, it's about being there for him. And, uh, and and that's what I did do. And, and I don't feel any regrets. The only 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 feeling that I have uh, right now uh, is. Uh, I, sometimes I feel a little paranoid, and if, like if I have a, a pain or something, that does, is that, that where did I come from? Mm -hmm. I, I check it out, and then if it's, it stays too long, then uh, I go to a doctor. But like I, I, I've been out sick from work last week, but um, and then only in a couple of days ago that I Thursday I went to the doctor and said, well, you know, my cold is hanging on too long. I need to do something about. It. He gave me a Z pack. He says, you know. He gave me a physical and said, uh, you're fine. He said, I'm glad you came in. I said, yeah, because it could turn into pneumonia. Right. And you know, I have I had a couple of friends who died from walking pneumonia, and they're just, just fine. I saw them one day, next day they're gone. Right. What? Yeah. <laughs> and, and so it, it's not, a, and it's okay to be paranoid for a good reason. To be paranoid, just to be paranoid and do nothing about it is, is ludicrous. Prior to your heart attack, uh -huh. were you, you know, accessing health care through a provider on a regular basis, like mm -hmm. regular annual exams and things of that nature? Yeah, yes, uh, from the same doctor that I had gone to, uh, you know, uh, to make sure that I would be around for my son, <laughs> the same doctor. Uh, yeah, and uh, the re real reason why I went uh, then uh, prior to that is that when I was working at Pfizer, I was working swing shifts a lot. Mm -hmm. and. Uh, and, uh, and, and and it's 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 a toll on your uh, physical self, you know. And so my blood pressure would escalate. And and one time I said, "Oh, I know that's just this is fine." But one day I was walking out supervising, and I felt so dizzy. I said, "Ooh, wow, this this is not wow." And so then I went to the doctor, and and he said, "Well, you need to be on uh, BP meds because your blood pressure is high." And said, "Well, sometimes it's it's genetically uh, involved, and sometimes it's not." Mm -hmm. But uh, we can't assume anything. Right. Yeah. I mean, we, we can't assume anything. So I just, uh, in, in other words, to, to really be around for my family, my family was very young then, uh, to be around for them, you have to take care of yourself. Who else is going to do it? Right. If you don't do it, who's going to do it for you? Right. Thank you. And God calls us to be wise, not to be foolish. Yes. Um, so can you kind of take us through the heart attack, the experience? Like, do you remember what was going through your mind you know, before and during uh, the heart attack, and maybe what it what it felt like the whole experience? <coughs> well, you know, uh, uh, before, see, I never thought it was a heart attack. I just thought that I I I wasn't feeling well. I had this flu or something. Mm -hmm. But uh, when nine nine one one was called, and I I remember getting in the ambulance and. Um, 
I remember, and uh, and then uh, my wife in the meantime had called your mom mm -hmm. and called all the clergy. So when <laughs> I got to the emergency room, the place was inundated with clergy. <laughs> and then by that time, I had by that time I had woken up, mm -hmm. and I just thought I just fell asleep. And and so and, and Dr. Fazio met me. Uh, the uh, the doctors met me as AMS was pulling up. So um, and then he he looked at my wife. He says. Um, we just barely got a pulse now. He says, this does not look good. Mm -hmm. And so then everybody began praying. Mm -hmm. You know, prayer changes things. I'm not yeah. saying that all you have to do is pray, right. but if, if all I did was uh, stay home and pray without doing anything, I wouldn't be talking to you now. Yeah. So uh, God wants us to, uh, to pray and, and, and move and do something. And, and so, uh, we did something. Excellent. Um, how has your lifestyle at all changed? Um, and if so, in what ways has your lifestyle changed since the heart attack? Uh, as far as? As far as maybe physical activity, as far as maybe your level of involvement in the community, nutrition, <coughs> like? Well, you know, uh, since then, um, since my heart attack um, had made me very very aware of my body mm -hmm. it made me very conscious of not being not all the time what is that pain because I, I don't have that much pain uh, but if something else is going on I just pay attention to it right. and number two is that uh, it made me uh, get more involved since my heart attack I have uh, graduated from um, uh, Atos Bible College with uh, my BS degree in theology mm -hmm. I graduated from there and that was prior to my, you know, uh, so it, that, that didn't affect me. But I knew I had to, uh, I had to do what I really wanted to do in life and what pleased God. And my focus was on pleasing God and my life was to do what made me happy. Like I said, playing the piano, I thought that was my thing, but it really wasn't. It was an enhancement, but it was not it. And what advice would you give community members moving forward? And I'm going to actually take this a step further. Mm -hmm. um, what advice would you give men in our community regarding <coughs> being proactive about your health? What advice would you give? I would say to men that they need to stay focused on your purpose in life. Mm -hmm. Your purpose is life is not to be a macho person uh, creating babies all over the world. Mm -hmm. uh, an animal can reproduce. Uh, you need to know that there is a reason why you're here, that there's a purpose for your life. You know, you just didn't happen to be here because God had nothing else to do but say, I think I'll make a Herman. Uh, so when he made a Herman, though, he had, he had, uh, he had a, a goal in mind for my life. Mm -hmm. And it needs to go back to God to honor him. I would say to men, stay focused. Uh, and uh, you're in a relationship with a, a woman, you need to know that uh, it is a God-given uh, uh, thing. Uh, he who finds a wife finds a good thing. Uh, I don't know, I don't go for this new generation, I'm, I'm gonna get an apartment with my girlfriend, we're gonna live together. No, no, because uh, uh, a lot of times, when that happens, uh, there is no responsibility on on, on on the on the side of the man. He feels as though if you know I don't get along with, I get up and leave. Well, that is disrespecting uh, 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 the girl that you're with and, and making it cheapens your life, and it also leaves you wide open to diseases too. Mm -hmm. In the reality, it, it you you are just as safe as the la last person you slept with, and you got to really know know what you're doing. It's not about you. You can't, can't you can't get so caught up in saying, Oh, I'm this, I'm 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 a I'm a, a great piece of work. I'm marvelously and wonderfully made. Yeah, in God's sight you are and you always need to believe and understand it is because of the grace of God you are who you are. And also regarding particularly men's health. Mm -hmm. um, be be, be proactive. Be proactive. You know you, you need to just know that uh, because what you are doing is uh, appears to be for yourself maybe but you got to know that you know it's not about for me it's about because my, I mean you can be in good health and 
and it makes no difference. But if you love your wife, uh, if a woman loves her husband, she'll take care of herself just for him, just for her, just for your children, just to see your grandchildren. And, I, I, and, and before I had my heart attack, I, 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 uh, I had two grandchildren, but they were very, very small. But since then, I've got two more, which uh, didn't happen before I had my heart attack. And now it's just a pleasure to see my small grandchildren. And because they, uh, and it's so funny how God works. Uh, um, my wife, before she died, uh, I mean my second, my second wife, not this one, my first wife. Before my first wife died, we didn't have any grandchildren. She never saw our grandkids. Never saw none of them. And we always said, "When oh, I can't wait till our grandkids get here." So my wife died, and she never saw them. But this is how good God is. My 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 granddaughter. My oldest granddaughter, 16, graduating from Mercy uh, in May, uh, magna cum laude, going to Harvard, and uh, has never, ever seen her grandmother, but she looks just like my wife. And my youngest granddaughter, who is two years old, acts like my wife and has her color. And I said, oh, my goodness, so good how God works, you know? So, you know, and, and it all boils down to the uh, that uh, very real... Uh, uh, the, the, the reality of it is is that you got to take care of yourself to do what you have to do. Thank you. Amen. Thank you.